Hey everybody and welcome to another round of Photoshop tip videos. In this video I'm going to show you how to light objects with the gradient tool. Now you can think of this video as a follow-up video to my previous video about lighting objects with the overlay blending mode. This is kind of a continuation of that. So let's just jump into Photoshop here and uh, see how we can light some objects. What you can do is you can actually create a gradient that's masked on top of the the shape that you're trying to light. Uh, you can use um, complete like black and white and I'm now holding down the option key and masking that onto the object and we're changing the blending mode to overlay. So what you can see is we have a light source from above and we might go in and adjust this gradient, uh, scale it down a little bit so that the light source becomes a little harsher. And you can drag the gradient around so that you know there's a lot of light coming in or almost no light at all or just the top and that's neat you can kind of play around with with using a gradient like this you can change the angle maybe so let's imagine that we have a circle and we go down and we create a gradient layer that we we overlay we just use the black and white and in the gradient fill options, you can change the style to radial, for example. What you get now is you, you have this cone of light shining onto the object. And um, we can use the blending mode overlay to, uh, to blend into the shape color. And now we basically have a ball. It looks 3D. You can scale it down a little bit if you want to pinpoint the light more. Now using gradients to light objects like this is a little more mathematical in a way. It's, it's a cleaner look than using just the brush tool, which gives more of a freeform artistic kind of look. So it, it kind of creates a more precise look somehow. So let me just show you one last thing. Right now I am just lighting this circle, sphere, which it is now, uh, with black and white. Uh, in the overlay mode. But if I want a little more control and I, I want to decide what colors goes in there, you can use some of the other blending modes. For example, we could use multiply, go in and change this gradient up and maybe use like a purple purple hue for the for the for the darkness there. And now you kind of have something that looks a little more dynamic. Shadows are rarely, you know, completely black. Also, I want to add that you can you can have multiple gradients interacting with this, right? So essentially, you could have a secondary one that uses overlay to really create like a secondary light source. So that's pretty much lighting objects with gradient layers. You can do radial gradients, you can do linear gradients, you can even do angled gradients if you dare. Uh, the point here is that it is a super versatile tool to create lighting. 